John Chapman and I'm the president of the Marlow um, Regatta which is run at Dorney in June each year and uh, we also run the what is called the Thames Valley trial head here around this time of year well this particular event which is uh, we call it a trial head um, it's for all classes of boats and it's a time trial and it really is a matter of pride with many of these boats that they get a good time uh, and then they go into psychology don't you you, uh, you know psych people out because you've got a good time and we did a good time at Dorney. And I'm Peter Blaisby, I'm the chairman of this event, I'm also chairman of Marlow Regatta. We moved the regatta here in 2001 and originally the Marlow Regatta used to be run on the Thames um, but when the lake was built it was a good opportunity to come here and to offer even better racing for the crews, the top crews in, in Britain. The facilities here, we try to organise an event at this time of year in January or February for crews who can't actually get on the river because as we've discovered this year the river goes into flood and the crews are not allowed on the water because it's too dangerous. And this year we've got 520 crews racing and we do it in three divisions so that they can come here, they can bring their boats and they can race three times and with luck We'll finish the racing by about two, they'll all go on home, and they can even have Sunday lunch. I'm Georgia, I row for Borlays Grammar School. We're here if you need us. I am Katie, I also row for Borlays uh, in Marlow. Uh, race, I did three races today, a single double, single pair and eight, and we won the eight, which is good. Oh, I, I really enjoyed it, I quite like there being three races which you could enter. Yeah, it's great to row at Dorney in general, just because it's such a good venue, like yeah. it being it was the Olympic venue and everything, so everyone likes coming to Dorney. Oh, it's been a great success, I mean we were swamped with entries, so we had to close entries. Because the weather has been so kind to us, that the only difficulty really has been, as you will have noticed, um, all the way down the side of the course, crews being marshalled into numerical sequence because they race in that sort of thing. By the time we count all the umpires and we count all the volunteers on the raft, helping the crews in and out, we've got about 60 people helping to do this as well. So it's a good day's work for them, a good day of enjoyment. You know there's been a lot of activity, a lot of crews coming down, you can see about 20 crews coming down towards the finish or just past the finish now and as I say, they can then pack up and go home and the winners will wear a medal. <laughs>